what is it? What is this? We're shooting right here. Sophogram, RAO position. RAO position in Sophogram, and we got. Sorry. 14 by 17 lengthwise. 14 by 17 lengthwise marker at the top. Yeah, get on up there, boy. We're gonna have to ask that you remove your bra. Can't do it, man. Oh, you want to hold that? Yeah. How y'all doing? Good. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. You're going to be famous. Yeah. On YouTube? No, we can't put them on YouTube. You know, eight times we all remember for that day, okay? Because you put it on there. Now, you can work off the maneuver notch to find uh, your center point where we center. Okay, or you know how you use your... Uh, Chest X-ray, you can work off that and off an inch, or you can put the IR two inches above the shoulder. That's the way I do it. Which is probably the, the quickest way. Yeah. Right. I actually even bump up a little bit if I have the esophageal gastric junction on the patient's stomach on the uh, arm because I like to get more of the mouth. The body the hands. Lines. Right. Where are we put the hands? That's a good question. This one's going to be up close to your face because you're going to be holding a cup to drink. So like this. Mm -hmm. And then that one's done by your side. Some people have to have that uh, right arm up to kind of brace them. This is for me an RAO. Yeah. Yes. And you don't you want to make sure you don't get them up too high. You don't get them so because they're going to be swallowed as well. Is it 45 or 35 or 43? 35 or 40. And their head, can it be propped up? Uh-huh. Okay. As long as you don't get the pillow in the uh, picture. Right. It's swallow, swallow, swallow. If it's only 34. Yeah, All right. Okay. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Regurgitate. Yeah. Uh, I have to leave this up. How about that one, yeah. That's his left side there. We got it marked right, don't we? Yeah. Can you mark this side? Yeah, mark the side down. Oh, okay, but we just mark it anterior, but mark side down. Okay. So should it be marked on the other side? So tired. Rotate him up a little bit more. What is it, 20 to 30? Oh, that's probably good, I guess. Huh? 30 to 40. Yeah. Which way? Towards, Towards us. us. How's that? I'm drinking. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Difficulties. 
shield. So we, we, yep, okay. So swallow, swallow, swallow. Hold inspiration. I mean, hold expiration and shoot. Oh, really? So it's just in between the Okay. Pimp. 40 to 70. Is there a bigger patient you avoid more? Can you tell us how much to avoid? Just the same as what I RAO UGI with the yet to determine angle. Of obliquity. The marker is at bottom and we mark side down anteriorly. Rotate patient 47 degrees from the prone position. <coughs> side down, right anteriorly. Bless you. That's when Louisiana, Louisiana sneezes, huh? Okay, so we got marker at the bottom with the blocker. R A O U G I. Can you say this stuff? Yeah. Oblique. How much? 30 to 7? 40 to 40 to 7? L2 is like down there where the duodenum bulb is and all that business. One or two inches above the lower side of the third line. Yep. One or two inches. Right there. You have to make sure you go lateral when you check the rios because the further anterior you go, the lower they are. So lateral margin. That's been true, let me check them. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, wow, that's really pretty to be loose. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a big thing. It's really pretty. Yeah. Um, you picked it out? Yes, ma'am. Well, hmm. All by my lonesome. You're not finished yet. There's another band that goes with it. <laughs> my knee's killing me. She had enough oblique though? Um, oh, your knee. You need a pillow underneath your knee? That's it. Alright, so y'all think that's it? Yeah. Hey guys, y'all still on your esophagus? Where are well, yeah, you Good for y'all, but let me just uh, get you to fix it on your lap sheet. It says on the uh, REO esophagus, it just aligns the midline of the table, or something of that nature. You need to be two inches to the upside of the spine. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did that. Okay, good. Good for you. Two inches to the upside of the spine. So that you're on the esophagus and not the spine. Right, right. All right, so we did that one, huh? Yeah. Okay. And if they need to brace that up. Oh. Yeah, you may want to give them some cushions or something because you're going to have to do it for a little bit. I guess you could get it. It's swallow, 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 swallow. You make your exposure in between the third and fourth swallow. I don't think I'm in the right position. Right. I don't. I think you're supposed to have that side down.
Aria. Right back. Right in my love. Right back. Because you'll hold your Which arm is up? Oh, this arm. Excellent idea, the fellas, ladies. How we doing? Y'all doing an Ario, right? Yeah, there you go. And <coughs> so we do that because of one. Right, it increases visibility for the Ario. Look at those firm buttocks. <laughs> See if I slide down that far, Rod. Probably not. Oops. Probably all the way down. You want to Mardi Gras? Top of the slit, two to three inches above shoulders. Is that it? All the way down. All the way. All the way. Two to three. Two to three. Inch, two to three inches above the shoulders. Where's your, where's your, um, calipers? Sometimes it's easier to check with those. I don't guess there's any. There's some up there. Or you can take the maneuver notch and go down three. Or you can just put it two or three inches above your shoulder. The top of the arm. So what works best for you? <laughs> and then it's the you're gonna make the exposure in between the third and the fourth swallow. Tell them to take large swallows, large mouthfuls, and they say, I'm gonna take the image while you swallow. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Swallow. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that way you get the props more into this little field. All right. That's the RAM. Right side of the body. Right, marker okay. on the right side of the body. Mm -hmm. the so y'all can keep them in that position and move down to your GI. Uh, on the GI, I'll tell you what oblique would be, but practice a 30 and 60 or, you know, different oblique would be. UGI. So you're using 10 by 12 for all the UGIs?
So we do snap one, we do 30 or 60. Yeah, 30 for like a, a stenic, and then hyperstenic would be like 60. So this, the bigger they are, the harder they, they fall. Them. Correct. So this is a what? 60 would be 45, this is 45, so 60 would be 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 Yeah, that's what. Feel it? About right in there about somewhere. Right in there. Yeah. Are you <laughs> so we'll say it's right here. So or we can go by the slime that's drawn right there. Uh -oh. A little bit of a curve right there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the more it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. right here. You want to just say that's the lower part? Of That's why you're getting a license, so you can you can determine those kind of things, right? Well, I'm talking about on this. Yeah, you look a little pudgy. That's a stinic person. Why does he do that? He did that last semester. It ain't going. I tore up the table. Thank you. Side to side centering is midway between the spine and upside lateral border of the abdomen. So that would be between here and here. SID? 10 by 12. Oh, sorry. What is stuck to my foot? Oh. 